Hi, and welcome to the third video in navigating through the Kearney Schools Genesis Parent Portal. Hey, we are at our summary page, and this video is going to focus on the grading piece and the gradebook component. Okay, so I'm going to click on gradebook, and gradebook is going to show me three things, a weekly summary for the classes, a list of assignments, and a course summary. Okay, so your weekly summary is going to for this week, for the current week, and you can change that. Okay, you can go up and change the weeks. It's going to give us a summary of each class that the student is enrolled in, their teachers, and their current average as of today's date. So as of today, these are the averages that the student has in each of these classes. It will also list any assignments that are in Genesis and when they are due. Okay, you can click on each class. Okay, so if we look at English language arts, it's going to list all of the assignments for the second marking period so far. Okay, it's going to give you the marking period, the date that the assignment was due, the course that it's in, the category that it's in, um, homework, short term or long term assignments, the actual assignment, and the current grade. So you can see that if it was not graded, the grade they received, you can see if it if an assignment is missing and still needs to be completed. Okay, um, when we go up, let's take a look at Tom's science course. Okay, here again are the classes listed for Tom in science. You can also see that there is a section for parent comments. So Tom didn't do too great on his lesson four test. So the teacher put a comment in here for the parent and the student that Tom can retake this test um, up until 1215. So this enables you as a parent to remind your child, you know, hey, don't forget to retake your science test. Okay, we also wanna take a look, let's take a look at another class. We'll look at their math class. Um, there's also a previous section. Now, this is where I want to focus here. You can see previously this homework assignment was missing. However, now there is a grade, which means Tom was missing his work, but made it up. If it's still listed in red, that means it is still currently missing. Okay, so this is previous column. Okay, we're going to also take a look at the course summary. Okay, now this is where you'll choose the course you want to look at. We're going to look at English language arts. This gives us a summary of all the assignments, but it also gives us um, the codes. So anything marked as exempt or absent will not impact a student's grade. However, anything marked with a missing or an incomplete will count as a zero and does impact the student's average. It also has some category weighting listed, how the class is broken down and what percentage each section will weigh towards their grade. And it does give a quick class attendance summary. Okay, the grading tab is where you will find current grades. Um, this is how many credits they're receiving. It'll give a grade history. So Tom is new to our school, so does not have any transcripts in this area. And available report cards. This is where any progress reports or available report cards will be listed. And you will click on the view in order to see that report card. Uh, since this is for video only, you can see Tom doesn't have anything listed but you can access the report cards through this tab, through the available report cards. Any progress reports and report cards will be listed here. 